In 2010, after eight years on tour, Mike Fagan broke through for his first singles title. Big win for the young man from Long Island, New York. Heading into this season, he'd been on TV 13 times. He's disappointed that there haven't been more wins, but encouraged at how often he's chasing them. It is definitely frustrating not to get more wins, but I've come to the conclusion that it really is just a process for me. You know, every game, every shot is a process. I think I need to focus more on the process and less on the the accomplishment, you know, because if, if I worry about the process and getting everything done and performing to my ability, then the results will happen. They're already starting to happen. Mike made three more shows at this year's World Series of Bowling, and his average this season is the best in his career. So far, the season has been great. The World Series of Bowling for me was, you know, much better than last year. Three shows this year, one show last year. Um, made a run at a couple, couple tournaments. Uh, didn't win any, but I still feel good about my game. Here and around the world. When Fagan isn't out on tour, he's out of the country. And with the Masters being part of the new World Bowling Tour, there's extra incentive to perform, as if winning your first major isn't enough. Well, I'm actually ecstatic that we're going to this World Tour format. I think it's the future of bowling. I think bowling is becoming such a global sport that you know every, every country, every kind of zone in the world is really becoming a part of the bowling community. You know, any major would be fantastic, but uh, obviously it comes with a PBA title and a World Bowling Tour points and you know there's a lot kind of riding on this one event. The USBC Masters begins on January 24th and there's still time to be a part of it. Just go to bowl.com slash masters to learn more. I'm Matt Lawson for Bowl TV.